Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we have exhaust. So we've got Matt's ZL1 back in the garage here and uh, we're gonna be putting on the Corsa uh, Extreme something or other. We'll figure it out, I'll put the actual name uh, in some text right down here. But uh, stick around, we'll show you how to do it. Uh, it's a full cat back system, includes the X-pipe, the polished black tips, and of course, the wonderfully sounding Corsa mufflers. So stick around. The tools you're gonna to need for the job are a 7 8 wrench. That is for the oxygen sensors to remove those. You're going to need a 15 millimeter deep well socket. Uh, I'm gonna use a half inch drive just to get more leverage on it. That is to get all of the bolts loose on the connection to the factory downpipes. Uh, you'll also need a 13 millimeter socket and a 3 8 drive ratchet. I'm using a, a battery powered ratchet. This is to remove the five bolts on the cross member that go across the middle of the exhaust section. And then just another uh, tip to make this easier is some type of lubricant on the exhaust hangers themselves and a set of pliers uh, to get the exhaust hangers off of the exhaust hanging posts. Now, they do make an exhaust hanger removal tool, which I do not have, uh, did not come in time for this video. So this is the alternative method. I figured I'd show this anyway, because let's be honest, most people don't have exhaust hanger removal pliers. So let's get started. Here we are underneath the car. The rear of the vehicle is that way. Front is that way, just for orientation purposes. This is the uh, exhaust or the bracket that needs to be removed from the center point of the exhaust area. Um, I've got to get this down in order to drop the remainder of the exhaust off and it's five 13 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and get to those with the ratchet. These are on pretty tight, so uh, you may need to loosen them first uh, before you start using a battery or air powered ratchet of any sort. Once you've removed that, you have free access to drop this once we get it loose up at the downpipe. All right, here we are at the front of the vehicle. Uh, again, front this way. Here is uh, your catalytic converters. So these are staying. Uh, this is an emissions friendly exhaust system. Well, if you don't live in California anyway. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start by taking the oxygen sensors out. And the reason for that is because it's gonna be a lot easy to loosen these up with the exhaust still fixed in place, as opposed to try to get them off with, uh, with the exhaust loose or hanging. So we'll start with that. All right. Got that one out onto the passenger side. And we got that one out. So we will move to now loosening uh, the clamp on the driver's side and then the two nuts that are on the passenger side. That'll free up the exhaust from the front end. 
which uh, I will, uh, I'll actually use another jack stand to kind of hold up the center of the exhaust so it doesn't fall on my face. Okay, I've got the jack stand supporting the exhaust system uh, near the center, a little bit forward of where that bracket was. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and break these 15 millimeter bolts loose. And I figured these were gonna be crazy tight, but still able to get them by, by hand. Otherwise, I was gonna bring this in. But I think we're good. So I'm gonna tuck this up to prevent any damage to the oxygen sensor. Just tucking it away on some other wires up there. Actually, it's right by the skip shift eliminator that I also have a video. Now that we have those off, we're gonna move to the rear of the car. We're going to lubricate the hangers with some uh, lubricant WD-40, PP Blaster, whatever you might have. And then we will work the uh, clamps and the hangers loose. So I've gone through and I've just uh, hit the exhaust hangers. Uh, there's a set here on each side, and then there's a set a little further up. Um, if you just follow the exhaust, you'll kind of see them. Let's see if I can get right, right up there. I'll show you those. So I just hit those with some uh, penetrating lubricant. Now, the next step here is to get the, the, the rear suitcase bracket off, which are two 15 millimeter nuts, one right there and one straight up there. Sorry, that it's, it's tough to get a camera in here, but that's what we're going to loosen next. Uh, to speed things up, I'm going to use my 3 8 drive Milwaukee ratchet to get these the rest of the way off now that I've loosened them with the half inch drive. Once you've got them loose, you can simply slide them off of the suitcase side. Pull the bracket towards you. And there you have it. Repeat the same on the other side. Now we'll move on to the hangers that are holding the middle of the exhaust up. Moving to the actual exhaust hanger, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this set of pliers because I do not have a uh, exhaust hanger plier tool. I'm going to loosen these up just like that. Uh, just grab it from one side, push it through, 
and then you can kind of twist it off with your hand. But uh, be careful not to damage this because we these hangers do get do get reused. There you have it. Repeat that for the other side over there. And then the two that are right over there. Those right there. Before we get all of the hangers off, I actually left the, the mid set still on. Get the factory exhaust off of these studs here and off of the factory slip clamp right here. And that is probably gonna be the hardest part of this entire install is removing the factory exhaust. So as you can see here um, on the passenger side, you get a, a, you know, like a flathead something to kind of pry these apart you can see the entire exhaust moving when i do that down there so it's still up on the on those middle hangers and we essentially have to push the entire exhaust that way to free this factory slip clamp which is not easy to get off of so that's uh that's our next project I wanted to show everyone what we had to do here with the factory flange. So this factory slip fitting gets reused and we just absolutely could not get this off. And the reason for that is because uh, it's welded at the top. So at the very top here it's welded. So I used a pry bar to loosen this, which is not a problem because we can use pliers to get it back into shape. And then on this side here, the factory bolts actually ended up cross threading as we were removing them. So we had, uh, we went and picked up a couple of extra uh, exhaust flange studs. So we're gonna replace these and then we will get the new Corsa exhaust system on. Okay, as you can see, we've got some new flange studs on here. Uh, I am not gonna lie, this was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my life because the, they were a cross thread from the factory. So that was super fun. So now what we get to do is just uh, reassemble the exhaust, uh, my Corsa, piece by piece. And this should actually be a lot easier. Uh, so we have this unit right here that'll made up there. Of course, I'm going to put the uh, gasket in there. We can't forget the gasket. Uh, and then on the driver's side, on the driver's side, we have this here that slip fits onto that piece there and then this clamp will hold the two together. So uh, stick with us. I'm not really going to show you every single step because at this point it's just assembling a bunch of pipes like Legos uh, and then uh, we'll get any other details we might need as we go along on the back of the car. All right so what we've done so far is tighten the front hangers flanges uh, loosely so they're not completely tight and then we've done the same with the X pipe connection which is right there so those are just loosely fitted we're using a jack stand to hold up the mid pipe section uh, and now we're going to finish off by attaching 
the muffler connectors, the mufflers, and then the exhaust tips. All right. Showing an update here, we've got the X pipe, the muffler connector pipes, and the mufflers installed. We got the tips on, we still have the protective coating on them. Um, what we're gonna do now is adjust each, uh, everything's kind of loose, every, every flange, uh, every clamp is loose. So we're gonna go underneath the car, I'm going to have um, Matt adjust it while I, you know, make sure that these tips are straight. Uh, well, that's, that's about it. We're just, and we have to put the bracket back on. Well, we should be done. We'll fire it up, do a test drive, and call it good. All right. We've got the Corsa exhaust installed. We've gotten everything tightened up. All of the clamps underneath. We've got the center bracket back on right there. And we are ready to lower the car and go for a test ride. She is Corsa uh, installed. Looking real good, sounding even better. I'll do some uh, audio clips to, to send us out. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them for you.